Kate Draper. I am 15 years old and I go to Massey High School. I really like sciences and chemistry and I was hoping that water purification might have that sort of thing in store for me. We've taken Harriet to the beaches of the Coromandel and to the holiday resort Matarangi. The town's water treatment plant is owned by the Thames Coromandel District Council and run in partnership with United Water. All seven municipal public water supplies in this area are owned by the council. Matarangi's small modern water treatment plant is run by just one person, plant operator Steve Harwood. G'day, I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Harry Draper. Hey Harry, have a taste of that. Tell me what you can taste. Um, nothing, just water. Just water? Fantastic, because that's what we're trying to make. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people, um, they turn the tap on, water comes out, they don't really put any thought into how that water actually gets to that tap. It's quite a complex process. We do quite a few uh, calculations and, and we record a lot of data uh, to make sure we comply with the drinking water standards because at the end of the day, people's health depends on exactly what we're producing out of these plants. The plant is fully automatic and everything can be managed from this control point. First job of every day is to head out and inspect the main water intake at the river nearby. So this is the uh, Openanui River. This is where we get most of our abstractions. And if you have a look just over the edge here, you see the wedge wire filter. And that's the main intake point. Steve Harwood has been working for United Water for two years and is currently completing his national certificate in water treatment. I love the job, yeah. I've always been an outdoor type of guy. Um, I'm pretty practical with my hands. I learnt all the science, maths, um, all the chemistry, the biology, I learnt all on the job. And uh, I love it, I really do. So if this is all automatic, um, like it's all here, why do you come down here to do it yourself if it's all there? Um, the reason for it is the only way to see exactly what your raw water source is, is to come to the raw water source and take a sample. There you go. Okay. That's it. And uh, just make sure you don't put your fingers under that lid. Screw it on tight. Excellent. Perfect. That's what we do every day. The only real issue we've got on this river is when we have big rains, the river turns to mud. If you see heavy rain coming on, uh, you instantly <laughs> dial up and shut your plant down before uh, all that mud gets into the intake. Graham Sawyer from Water Industry Training has come to Matarangi to assist Steve's progress towards his national certificate. A job as a water treatment operator is extremely responsible. Effectively, this is a, a food product that's going out, in some cases here, to, to up to um, 4,300 people. And the public health risk is huge if that isn't done right. The principles of running a water treatment plant are the same everywhere. So the skills learnt here can extend to large cities like Auckland or other industrial water treatment facilities. What are the right kind of people for the job? Um, well, anybody really, as long as you've uh, got a bit of enthusiasm and don't mind working outdoors. Um, I've even heard they've even employed girls. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to hit me then, did she say that? <laughs> Traditionally, it's been a, a fairly male-based um, male industry, but there's absolutely no reason for that. So we're actively encouraging girls, women, young women, to apply for jobs and get into the industry. It's asking you if you want to calibrate at seven. That's correct, E again. Calibrating instruments is part of the routine. And there you go, you've just done a calibration. So is this, adding a measure of polyelectrolyte, a chemical which helps clear the untreated water. The dose water is then pumped to this tank, the clarifier. So, why does it look so gross when it's clean water and it looks so scungy? So scungy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What you see at the bottom is, is that live flock blanket, what we've uh, added the chemicals in to create. And what it's doing is it's making small particles of dirt join together to make large particles of dirt. And that's what you can see down the bottom there. So as the water comes up through the clarifier, all those small particles of dirt get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and stick together. And all you get coming out the top is crystal clean water. This is where you're looking for things that might indicate that you're either overdosing or underdosing the chemicals inside that we were just doing. Yeah. Your eye just picks up when things are going wrong. And uh, at the moment, that's absolutely stunning. Stunning. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's typical of, of the passion and commitment you see in, in water treatment operators. 
because it is such a, a challenging and varied role, uh, you see water treatment operators who are incredibly passionate about their jobs. So every hour for one minute, it will do a sludge drawdown. It goes out through this pipe here and it goes straight to the wastewater system. The cleaned water is then dosed with chlorine to disinfect it and the alkalinity is adjusted so any corrosive effect on pipes and taps is minimised. I think Steve explained it really well. I managed to follow all the chemistry stuff and it was really well, it was really well done. I really liked that. It was good. Steve has to check that the water at the end of the pipe is as good as when it left the plant. Here at Matarangi, the end of the line is the beach with its public loo. Harriet's going to test the FAC or free available chlorine. Uh, this here is a Palin test kit. Uh, it allows us to test for uh, free available chlorine, total chlorine, alkalinity, iron. We take a sample, we add a certain tablet, depending on what we're actually trying to find out the value of. It changes colour and obviously it gives us a reading at the top here. Within seconds the reading is there. Uh, to me it's, it's, it's a little bit lower than what I would have expected at this point of time. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll go and flush the line properly. Flushing the line introduces fresh chlorine and fixes the problem. So is Harriet home and hose? She's showing enthusiasm, she certainly likes the outdoors. She's very accurate in uh, the details that she looks for. Yeah, I could see a future for her in the water treatment uh, industry. You turn the tap on and it's clean water, you don't think about it, but there's so much process involved in chemicals and yeah, like you can control what happens with the water. It's quite cool. Cheers. Cheers. The Primary Industry Training Organisation offers a national certificate in water treatment and skills are learnt on the job. Anyone with a practical bent and strong initiative can be a water treatment operator. Good results in NCEA maths and science is often enough to secure a place. Water treatment is a very strongly compliance based industry. The health of New Zealanders depends on it. The water industry is short of skilled operators, so employers welcome job applications. This represents a great chance for all sorts of people to train for a new career. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.